kind of light right now. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to another weekly vlog. So it's Friday today. Um, I, as you will have known if you watched my last week's vlog, which I don't recommend because it's very sad. <laughs> Even though I haven't edited yet, I know it's going to be really sad. Um, I've split this week into two because I kind of just wanted last week, uh, last week's vlog uh, up to yesterday to be Wilson's. Um, so yeah, so this is Friday and because I'm going on my press trip next, this time next week, oh my god, this time next week, um, it was only going to be Monday to Thursday anyway so I thought it would be a little bit more exciting to include Friday, Saturday and Sunday in next week's vlog and it just kind of worked out. So it's Friday today. <laughs> So obviously for you guys it was last week, uh, for me it was only yesterday, <laughs> so I'm feeling a little bit fragile still, uh, I keep bursting into tears for no reason whatsoever, I'm being told that's normal but I feel quite silly about it, um, yeah coming down this morning it just felt really weird because uh, he's not here uh, and there's a massive empty space where his bed used to be. And a big empty space where his bowls used to be and uh yeah it's all all a bit horrid um and it's a lot harder than i thought it was gonna be i know that sounds silly and um, maybe a bit heartless i don't know but when we adopted him he was really old and really ill and we didn't think he was gonna last 18 months um but he did and we grew really attached to him and i knew he would never live forever and it, I know it's for the best because he really wasn't himself this the past two weeks. He really went downhill. He was so, so poorly. So it really was the kindest thing to do. Um, so you would have thought that that would make it sit better up here and in here. Because you know it was for the best rather than it being like a shock accident or something. Um, but it hasn't made it any better. <laughs> and I'm really struggling. But today is um, a new day and time will make it better and your comments and your tweets and everything have been amazing so thank you um so yeah the show must go on and i'm going down to london today for a work thing that's been booked in for ages to be honest i really don't want to go uh, i kind of just want to sit and wallow but i think it's probably for the best that i get out there and keep myself busy so let's go to london <laughs> in a different way tour guide was great yeah uh, very so, funny yeah 
learnt new things about London. We did. From London. We did. Very good. So now we're going to head over to Carnaby Street to the Benefit Brow Bar because um, I really need my brows tinting and waxing and just generally sorting out. And uh, yeah, maybe grab a sandwich. Mm. Exciting day in London. Look who we found, we found a subscriber. <laughs> this is Sophie, everybody. Hi. Having a lovely day shopping. Yes, I am. I love your lipstick. Where's that from? We talked about it on the tutorial, which was the Rimmel Kate Moss <gasps> in shade 30. Need to get on that. It's really good. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you. Bye. I'm very happy. If you haven't subscribed to Amelia, go do it. Because her content's amazing. <laughs> there you go. She's the best YouTuber there is. You heard it here. I've been replaced. Yeah, you can't get <laughs> DJ benefit. That was lovely meeting Sophie. It's really nice to meet you guys. If you ever do see me, don't be shy. Come over and say hello because it makes my day when I get to meet you. It makes you feel like a celebrity. Um, so benefit have no appointments left, which is really annoying because on the train they had so many and they must have just been booked up. So I've got to have rubbish eyebrows for a bit longer. Try and get them done at the weekend in Manchester maybe. Um, but we're going to find somewhere to have some food and a glass of wine. Let's have a cheers. Lovely to see you to see again. You I've got a break for me now, at least. Oh, oh it's nice. Nice isn't wine. It? Lovely. We're in the spaghetti house for some comfort food. Lots of creamy pasta and wine. I've got to go home now. <laughs> You're an idiot. I know. Go and subscribe to Lauren, she's funny in a way. So I've just got home to a beautiful bunch of flowers and the most adorable card from Lucy. That's a really ugly angle. Can you hold these so I don't have a triple chin? <laughs> How could I help? Too late, they've already seen it. But look, a little card with Wilson on and it says, in loving memory of Wilson and then there's a lovely message inside. From Lucy and Damien, her husband. That is just made me cry all over again there. Thanks, Lucy. I've only cried three times today. I thought I was doing pretty well. But now you make me cry again. And the card from Mum and Dad, because tomorrow is my one year anniversary of becoming a full time blogger and YouTuber, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, so they sent me this card, which is me as a baby eating an ice cream and dribbling it all down my chin. That was, that was me the other week actually. Um, it said, champion blogger, you've got it licked. <laughs> one year on from starting your blogging career, we are so proud of you from mum and dad. Ah. So both of those cry, made me cry for two different reasons. <laughs> That's lovely. I feel very, very loved and special. Morning everyone, it's Saturday. It looks a bit dishevelled today because we've been in a major rush to get out of the house. We never leave it ourselves enough time when we go somewhere on a Saturday morning. Uh, but we are off to the spa at the Midland this weekend because uh, they've asked us along to come and review it. So they've got a new scent to sleep treatment or sleep therapy massage treatment that we're going to have today, which is great because my back is really hurting. Uh, and then we've got lunch and then we've got dinner in their restaurant this evening, a stopover and breakfast tomorrow, which will be really nice to kind of get out of the house and uh, do something a little bit different. And we're celebrating my uh, one year anniversary of going full time with my blog and my YouTube channel this weekend. So um, that will also be very nice as well. I'm sure we'll get some champagne at some point. To our lovely room, we're on the sixth floor. I got some lovely views of Manchester. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna head back down to the spa basically. We checked in after we had our treatments because they were at 12, so we didn't want to waste our time. So we went straight down to the spa, had our treatments. Oh my goodness, the massage that we had was unbelievable. I have a lot of massages because they're my favorite spa treatment. I have a lot of problems with my back and my knotty shoulders. It's one of the best ones I've had in a long, long time. And that is saying something. And you really enjoyed yours as well, didn't you? Yeah. Currently really investigating the really minibar. Really um, yeah, so we had a couple's ones, we had it together. It was there, like, sent to sleep. It's a new treatment. 
so you choose your oils and then they do some like facial stuff on you scalp massages hot stone massage oh it was bliss and it really sorted me out although she did say that I was like the naughtiest person she's ever massaged I was like it's been a bit of a rubbish week <laughs> so I'm a little bit stressed right now and um, I feel a lot better a lot more chilled out it was great I would 100% be back the spa looks beautiful we haven't properly checked it out so we've had our lunch, we had like these lovely little platters, just enough, and it was like really dainty, lovely food. Um, had some herbal tea. So we're gonna pop our swimming costumes on and we're gonna go and just chill in the spa, I think. I don't think I'm gonna take my camera down because uh, I kind of just want to relax for a little bit. So yeah, swim in the pool, read our books. They've got like these cool little hammock egg pod things. So we're gonna have maybe have a nap in there and then come back and get ready for our evening meal tonight. So the mini bar is fully automated so you can't take anything out of it and it's very expensive as per usual for a fancy hotel so we have bought our own alcohol yay, yay sensible people <laughs> sensible cheapskate people <laughs> first of all i want to start by giving you a little life lesson if a company ever asks um, to pay you to taste wine in your vlogs the answer that you must give them is always yes so that's exactly what we're doing today <laughs> um, so Broadland Wineries Direct have sponsored this part of the vlog and they've sent me some of their mini vinos which are these like portable travelable travel travelable uh, wines and whenever we go on holiday or whenever we go on like a day trip down to London or anything like that or if I go with Lucy you'll have seen in the vlogs many occasion popping a cork on the train I guess this is a two-hour journey and it's a special occasion uh, we often buy like bottles of wine or bottles of Prosecco and stuff and take it with us but it's an absolute nightmare because somebody always ends up having to carry a full-size bottle of wine aka me and glasses which they're always horrible as well like the little plasticky glasses and you can never reseal them, so you have to like down it if you get there before you finish wine. So these, I think, are actually really clever. I haven't tried them yet, so we're going to taste them. They basically do a white, a red, and a rosé, but we won't talk about that because I hate rosé wine. Um, and you can get them from their website. I think they sell them in like cases of six. So they're really great if you're going out with um, your girls for the day, or like a hen party or something. You can like buy a case of six, and it's free delivery. I think they're like two pound fifty per wine, which is pretty good value uh, and they're resealable as well which is great because I know that um, Marks and Spencer's do them I think in like the little plastic wine glasses but you can't reseal them once you've taken the top off not that that's normally a problem for me um, but it's actually quite a little nice little feature and also they sell them at a cardo oh, there they yeah are. dangerous you have the hardest job as my assistant I do wonder coming to all these lovely hotels having massages and then trying wine don't spill that <laughs> Has it got a seal underneath it as well? Yeah, it's got a foil underneath it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I was going to pop it straight off. <laughs> but it's no, sensible feature. <laughs> right, so I've got a white one, which is a Chardonnay, I think, and you've got a red, which a is Merlot. Like... Cheers, mini vino. I love the, <laughs> I love there, the little I... glasses. Give it a go. Oh, do you know what? That's actually quite nice for a Chardonnay. I don't normally drink Chardonnay. It's not too bad, you know that? Yeah. Yeah, it's better than the stuff I bought the other day. Which was Joe awful. bought us some awful red wine the other day when I really needed a nice glass of wine. It was terrible. <laughs> it was like five pounds from Spa. It's awful. We it's had these in the time. house. We should have drunk those. They're a lot better. Oh, that's not too bad. Mm. Could have done a swap and try. Mm. That's actually really nice considering it's Chardonnay. And normally I'm a Sauvignon Blanc girl, I must admit. But that's actually pretty good. So I'm going back to the Spa. Should we just stay in? I know, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, no, that's, that's not too right. bad. Oh, that's all right as well, and it's not particularly cold because you can't take anything out of the mini bar because it automatically charges you so uh, we can't put it in the fridge but considering it's warm it's that's really good mm. oh we definitely we've got loads of these so i'm gonna keep them stashed and then the next mm. time we go down to london put take them on the train it's a good plan man Oh, and I might accidentally, on purpose, put a few in the Ocado basket. So we've ordered some bread and olives and they've given us like a mountain of olives and a mountain of bread because we were peckish after the spa. Had a lovely relaxing afternoon, haven't we? It's been marvellous. <laughs> this is what I look like right now. Uh, I've got the uh, radial hangover extreme mask thing because my skin has kind of like been sucked, all the moisture has been sucked out of it because I think I've just cried out all the moisture in my body this week. Um, but it's a really great mask. It's expensive. I am going to be reviewing it on the blog because I just love it so much. But I do find myself reaching for it a lot, which is annoying because obviously it's pricey. And uh, Joe's opening some uh, champagne. I feel awful. This is what you look like. Very, very handsome. And this is me. <laughs> you look beautiful. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. 
Lovely stuff. Definitely 100% did not steal this from the cruise. <laughs> yes. I don't know if I've told you this before guys, um, but this is a really great way to chill down wine or champagne very quickly. If they bring you a, buck a bucket full of ice, tip out half the ice, fill it up to there with water and then put the ice in there because the, the ice will chill the water and the water completely envelops the bottle so it chills it very very quickly. And also I just had to show you this, so you saw my card from mum and dad yesterday, if I cut that out in the edit by mistake, and this is the card, it looks like that, it's amazing, it's mum and dad to say that they're really proud of me for going full time with my little blog and my YouTube channel and my business, um, and then Joe got me this card, really cheesy, so <laughs> you're the best, uh, and then uh, he got me a trophy, <laughs> can't believe it, I've been saying that I want to win a blog award, um, for ages and now I have finally won a blog award. This is so damn cute. You're amazing. You're very welcome. <laughs> well deserved. Thank you. So can I officially call myself an award winning blogger now? Does it count that it came from my boyfriend? <laughs> uh, yes, that was a panel of experts and it oh, was unanimous. Okay. Yeah. It was unanimous. Unanimous decision. Yeah. Okay. I'll try hard next year though, it's not guaranteed. Okay. <laughs> this is amazing and it, yeah, it nearly made me cry again and ruined my makeup but happy tears. That is so, so cute. Where are we going to put it? We haven't got a mantelpiece. We need to build a mantelpiece just so I can put it on the mantelpiece. For all your awards? <laughs> yeah, I all, like it. all but one that came from my boyfriend. It's like on Valentine's Day where you don't get any cards from anybody but you get a card from your dad. That was me for many, many years. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> right, it's time to leave the hotel. We've both had a really nice sleep. I could have slept for days. I'm so tired at the moment. Um, the beds were really comfy. Would we stay here again? Probably not. It's just because the rooms are a little bit dated. Um, the spa is amazing. I'm 100% going back for a massage. You can go in for day treatments. Um, and also, the restaurant last night was lovely. We really, really enjoyed our food. Um, probably wouldn't stay at the hotel. Purely because for the money, you can go and stay at Malmaison, which is our favourite, favourite hotel. Um, and it's just a little bit better. But it was lovely. We had a lovely time. Great sleep, lots of champagne, what more could you ask for? So we're gonna go into Manchester today. I'm gonna get my brows done with benefit. I've got an appointment booked at three o'clock and I'm gonna try and get some, a few bits and bobs for my press trip on Friday, which I still haven't got flights through for. <laughs> Getting a little bit stressed about that. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to show you where I'm going very soon. You won't care by the time I can actually tell you. You'll be like, you've said this so many times, I don't actually care where you're going now. So I've got my rucksack ready for my press trip and I've got loads of jungle formula, insect repellent and loads of bits and bobs. I spent a lot of money. Uh, and also I spent about 80 quid in Primark. Joe is carrying all the bags. It's a complete accident. Um, it's mostly like shorts and t-shirts and stuff. So we're just going to go back to the car and I think we're going to go and watch Finding Dory <laughs> because it's so, our car park is literally in the cinema. So I think we're going to go and watch that. Cheer ourselves up a little bit because we don't have to rush back for the dog which we've just kind of we've both kind of gone oh, we should probably get back now because Wilson will be uh, Wilson will be home and he won't be so uh, I'm gonna go to the cinema I think I've got one minute 15 seconds left on this memory card so I can just update you uh, Finding Dory was amazing it was a really really cute film um, we got back now and I'm feeling so drained I think it's like all the emotion of the week has just like proper drained me so I'm having a bath uh, with one of my new oils. I bought this new this bath oil. It's a soothing bath oil by Espa. And um, the lady with my massage, she used the body oil version on me and the smell was just incredible. So I treated myself to the bath oil because I really like bath oils. And I'm gonna wear my new Grumpy Cat pajamas that say, uh, I had fun once, it was terrible. <laughs> and they're long PJs. I just really wanted to take off all my makeup. My, I, my brows look really dark at the moment. They always look dark as soon as you have them done, but they will get normal again. <laughs> so I take off all my makeup, snuggle up on the sofa, and just enjoy the rest of the weekend. So I shall see you guys in the morning. Morning, everyone. It's Monday. Um, it's actually about quarter past four on Monday. I'm sorry I haven't vlogged yet today. Um, I have been editing uh, last week's weekly vlog, which has been, as you can imagine, really, really hard. Um, there's been lots of tears as I've been doing it and it's, um, yeah, it's incredibly difficult to do. Um, but I wanted to obviously share it with you because it's something that's gone on in life and even though on this channel we are super positive and super happy and just generally loving life most of the time, um, 
awful things do happen sometimes um, and it's okay to feel sad about it and it's okay to cry and it's okay for things to feel like they're just not going right it, it's totally normal it can't be sunshines and rainbows all the time um, even though life is pretty generally quite good uh, I think it's hit me so, quite hard because um, I haven't really experienced anything so negative in such a long time uh, which is great uh, but yeah, I, I didn't want to not show you it, but at the same time it was really difficult for me to do that. So, um, oh, I really hope everybody is kind. I know you guys will be. All of all of the regular Team XAX will, will, will be so kind. I know you will because you always are. You're amazing. Um, it's just overnight I seem to have gathered um, a lot of new subscribers. I think last week's vlog with the haircut kind of went a bit crazy and I think it's on like 19,000 views which is just insane. Um, it's amazing but insane and I've gathered quite a bit of hate from it as well. Um, people who aren't part of our little family who obviously just stumbled across it, don't know me, don't know Joe, don't know our lives, don't know anything about me <laughs> and have decided to judge and leave really nasty comments so um, it's just made me a little bit scared about putting up tomorrow's vlog because obviously it's so personal um, and I'm a mess <laughs> at the moment uh, I really don't want anybody to say anything nasty but um, I guess that is that's the risk that we have to take um, so yes. You are a lucky man that you get to look at this every day. It's it's quite a treat. <laughs> I've put my hair oils on again and I'm gonna leave it overnight. Um but I thought I would sleep in this because it otherwise it would ruin my towel because it is it's like sodden with oil. So thought I'd give it a go. Having a bit of a stressful evening, um, because the people that I'm going on the press trip with still haven't booked our flights. I leave on Friday. It's now Monday evening and they've just dumped a load of stuff that we need like hiking boots, raincoats, torches, everything that I just don't have because I don't tend to hike that often. <laughs> so I've had to put in a last minute order at Millet's and like hope it gets here on time even though they messed up the delivery I paid for next day and they said it's not going to be here till Thursday. I'm just having a bit of a stress guys, just a little bit of a stress. <laughs> um, but Joe's been amazing and you've made me a grilled cheese sandwich, healthy tea. <laughs> Oh yeah. I've hardly eaten anything today. I've just been like rah, and feeling a bit miserable. And I'm one of those people where when I feel miserable I don't eat. I know a lot of people go and binge eat but I'm completely opposite. So that's probably why I was feeling it's like a perpetual cycle though isn't it because when you don't eat yeah, you then need, you feel you even more miserable yeah. and then blah. So uh, yeah it's just been a bit of a rubbish day. Fighting off hate from people on my last vlog then editing Wilson's vlog and then all this stress. Tomorrow's a new day. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> morning everyone, it's Tuesday today um, and it's just another boring one I'm afraid. I'm just editing blog posts, writing blog posts, uh, editing videos, that kind of stuff. If you are new, I apologise, you're probably thinking why on earth do people watch this boring lady? Um, but sometimes life is fun, sometimes life is just work, work, work. Um, and that's pretty much today. Uh, so in fact that's pretty much this week until I go away on Friday, which still is not confirmed. So my stress levels are quite high. I'm just making myself some toast. I have some Marmite on toast. Leave me a comment down below if you're a lover or a hater of Marmite. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get cracking really. Yo, 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 it's now quarter to eight and I'm back in my pyjamas. <laughs> I love these pyjamas, I don't care. But I'm 28 and probably shouldn't be wearing pyjamas with cats on, um, but I really like them. Um, so I'm still working, uh, just writing up a blog post about the spa that we went to at the weekend. So that'll be up on the blog next week. So you can go and check that out if you're interested in where we were staying. Uh, and the vlog has gone live, Wilson's vlog has gone live, so all of you guys are coming flooding in with comments and it's um, it's really lovely, so thank you so much, because I was obviously really scared about putting this out there, um, but thank you. You have been amazing, as I knew you would be. 
We have just done so much tidying. Oh my goodness, there were so many clothes on the floor upstairs because I've been pretty much living out of a suitcase for the past month and not really tidying things up in between trips, which is really bad. Um, but it's taken us about half an hour. We've cleared the whole upstairs, so the house is so much tidier. Put away Lauren's bed from when she stayed with us after we went to Bucharest. Um, and now I'm just fixing a few things. I've got a few um, baggy pants from Primark that have got like a massive hole in the seam. I don't think this seam was done properly old Primark um so I'm just I'm just fixing it with my sewing kit look how cute my little um scissors are they're a little stalk so cute so yeah gonna watch some tv um do some sewing and then head to bed another day done morning everybody it's Wednesday today and we've woken up to the new Instagram update how does everybody feel about that with um the new story that they've stolen from snapchat very naughty um yeah, just just working, working today. I've got two videos to film. Um, doing a collaboration video, and also my July favourites and a few other bits and bobs. Um, but I can't stop filming uh, yet because Mandy's coming. For those of you who don't know, all the new people, uh, we have a cleaner. Don't judge. Um, because as you've probably seen, Joe and I are very, very busy and um, we're both really lazy as well and she's very affordable so it just kind of works for everybody. She comes for two hours every two weeks but of course she doesn't know the news about Wilson yet and she absolutely loves Wilson so she's going to be coming in about 20 minutes. She'll probably walk in and go, oh where's my little man? I'm going to have to break the news to her so um, yeah, that's not going to be fun. Um, but I don't stop filming until she leaves because hoovers and clattering around and all sorts so uh yeah i'm just gonna finish off some actual blog post writing this morning still no flights <laughs> it's now wednesday leave on friday getting a bit nervous now um i've been chatting to the other bloggers that are in our chat group about it a couple of them have had flights so they are trickling through but I am so, so nervous now. I feel like these vlogs have become flight watch <laughs> and uh, they still haven't arrived. So that's a little bit uh, worrying and a little bit annoying as well because I just kind of need to plan everything. I was gonna ask my mum and dad to take me to the airport, but obviously I don't know when I'm supposed to be going to the airport. So it's a bit tricky. I've got a load of stuff that I've had to order last minute coming today from Millets. So I'll show you those later. And you'll have to leave me a comment down below when they arrive. See if you can guess where I'm going. Because obviously I'll tell you at the end of the vlog. So leave me a comment when you see that stuff. Uh, and leave your guess. And see if you're right at the end of the vlog. But Joe bought me loads of stuff from Tesco the other day. So we've got all of these. Which you need. There's like little snack bars and cereal bars and stuff. Because I can't always eat first thing in the morning. So kind of figured if they're going down, there's a lot of early mornings, so if everyone's going down for breakfast at like 6am, I might not be able to eat, so I can take those and eat a little bit later. Rehydration treatments in case they get poorly, paracetamol, ibuprofen, once a day, factor 15, some mints in case I'm a bit nervous, deodorant, um, compi patches, because we'll be doing a lot of walking, Imodium, <laughs> always important when you go away, but they're all more compied. Oh my god, no wonder this stuff cost a fortune. Um, hay fever tablets, because I always use those to get rid of prickly heat in hot countries. It works wonders. That is my solve all cure for prickly heat. Some more blades for my razor, that doesn't really help you. And more deodorant, but Imodium, compied, sunshine, and ibuprofen and stuff. Can you guess where I'm going yet? Okay, so my parcel has arrived. We have very, very stylish trekking boots, a fully waterproof coat, pack it, mac in a pack, <laughs> um, a waterproof bag, a torch, and some thick hiking socks for my boots. I'm going to try all these on. Hopefully they will fit. Leave me a comment down below. No peeking at anybody else's comments if they've seen the end of the vlog. Um, and try and guess where I'm going. I'll give you a clue. The torch is for bat watching. We have an emergency. My friend Lucy is stranded and her car won't start. So she's called the RSPCA, not the RSPCA, the RAC. And uh, they won't be with her until like an hour and a half. And she's got other jobs to do because she's a dog walker. So she's got other dogs to go and visit. So I'm gonna go and rescue her and take her to her next dog walk. What a nightmare. She's having a right nightmare with her car at the moment. I feel so sorry for her. So yeah, we're gonna go and rescue. 
Lucy has been rescued, so now I'm on my way home again. Um, I needed to film two videos this afternoon, but because my shoes, my trekking shoes, don't really fit, um, I'm gonna have to try and hunt some down in another kind of like hiking shop a bit later, um, just as a bit of a last ditch effort. They fit, but I'm not sure if they're meant to feel the way that they do, and the last thing I need is blisters in the middle of a trek. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go up and meet Joe after work and try and find some or just speak to somebody in a shop who can tell me if this is normal or not. Um, so yeah, because I've got to go there, I've literally got two hours and two hours is not enough time to film and edit two YouTube videos. So I'm gonna have to do the work that I was supposed to do tomorrow, today, and then try and film them last ditch attempt tomorrow. So we got some new shoes that weren't leather this time. They're like, they're not waterproof, but neither ones, neither were the others, the guy said. Um, and they're a bit softer, so they're gonna be a bit more comfortable to wear. And they were about five pounds cheaper, so even better. Take the other ones back, use those. Well done, go outdoors. I also discovered this on the way home. I don't know how you say the name of it. It's zero, zero, zero. Um, but it's basically, a towel off shampoo so you don't have to wash your hair it's a mousse that you spray into your hair and then you towel it off and it gets rid of grease but they are saying that it's definitely not a dry shampoo and i live off dry shampoo so i thought i'd get both flavors don't eat it kids strawberry and apple and give it a go while i'm on my press trip i nearly said where i was going again when i'm on my press trip um, so I can give it a go because I don't think there's going to be much time for washing hair because the itinerary is so packed and also it's going to be really hot and sweaty so I thought we'd give that a go. £3.50 per thing. Very expensive for what it is but I don't know how far it's going to go so watch this space. Morning everybody, it's Thursday. I look really rough this morning. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give this a go because I'm gonna be filming a video and my hair looks a little bit greasy. Um, so I'm gonna try it. Let's see how it works. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know whether it's gonna be any good or not. We'll see, find out. If I'm honest, I feel like that looks exactly the same. If not, a little bit more greasy. I even just blow dried it a little bit with my hair dryer to make sure it was completely gone and no, it just, it just doesn't work. I'm gutted. I really wanted it to work because dry shampoo is my life. <laughs> so I was hoping that I was going to discover a really cool new product. I'll take it with me on the trip um, because it's so busy. I don't think I will have time to wash my hair a lot of the time. Um, I'll take it with me and we'll give it another go and I'll report back after. But first impressions, not great. <laughs> Oh my god, what is going on with my hair? I've just taken it out of a top knot and it looks like the 80s have thrown up on it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this vlog here, guys, because it's already 30 minutes. I've been editing it this morning, um, and that's before I even started this bit. So <laughs> I need to go. Um, I still don't have my return flights through, so I'm just gonna have to jinx it and risk being stuck over there by telling you where I'm going. I am going tomorrow to... Indonesia for two whole weeks and it's really scary because I've never been to that part of the world before it's about a 20 hour flight on my own um, and the last time I went on a flight I was really poorly so I'm a little I'm just I'm really nervous that I'm gonna be poor I think once I'm there I think I'll be fine but I'm just nervous more about the traveling at the moment um, and also it's with like 30 people <laughs> that I don't know it's really it's chucking me in at the deep end it's we are going bat watching we are going to an orangutan conservation camp we are going dolphin watching we're scuba diving in Bali visiting the Komodo Dragon Islands having like a traditional dinner with um, like a local tribe I think um, stargazing loads of stuff it does it just i couldn't turn it down when i got the um invitation through because even though it's absolutely terrifying um it's a once in a lifetime trip so i knew i would forever kick myself if i turned it down so when this goes live i will have been there for about four days uh four or five days so come over and see me on instagram at x i'll leave all my links down below come and follow me on instagram and maybe snapchat as well 
so you can keep up with everything as I go along because there won't be a weekly vlog next week because obviously I'll be in the jungle. Um, so come follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with everything and I'll see you when I get back. Oh, before I go, um, my lovely friend Rosie, who you might already follow actually, she's on YouTube as well, Rosie J. Pierce, and she does weekly vlogs that I watch every single week and we just love each other's vlogs so much that we thought we'd do a little bit of a shaft out. So, I really like her stuff. She does amazing beauty tutorials as well and she is absolute fitness goals at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd just insert a little bit of her vlog stuff to show you what she does so you can go and subscribe if you like her style. So this is Rosie everybody. Good morning and welcome to another weekly vlog. I think we need to talk about the ghost in last week's weekly vlog. You know what it's time for. I just wanted you to know very we're having a sale on and I've been after these Adidas leggings for ages. I have got a feather stuck to my foot. I give it a three out of five, two and a half, pretty average. Okay, I hope you have a nice day or are having a nice day. I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, she's so cute. So I'll leave all of her links down below and um, if that floated your boat, go over and check her out and uh, subscribe to her channel. And you can find a new weekly vlogger to watch every week. But I think I've rambled enough for this one. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Again, thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. Keep them coming so I can read them all uh, when I get Wi-Fi at some point out, out there in the jungle, on the islands. Um, and yes, I will see you guys when I get back, probably dishevelled <laughs> and hopefully with a little bit more of a suntan and very very jet lagged but yeah I'll see you when I get back guys thanks for watching bye in hand as they take a quick break from baby duties we pray for baby Jesus step out soundcloud <laughs> step out stand proud step out stamp out step